No, 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 no. No, this is not. This was something I found at the dump uh, about know, 10 or 15 years ago. An old carriage lantern. Yeah. And so it didn't have a top on it, it was rusted out. But since it was carriage looking, yeah. Um, and it was already electrified. Yeah. This is the part of a carriage that goes on the front to turn the axle, turn the wheel. Yeah. And then I made everything else out, and it's ugly. I'm gonna wire it up. It's got the original porcelain pieces. Mm -hmm. They're all working. Everything is fine. I actually think it's pretty. And then this was ours. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a better looking stand uh. on it. You know. I actually and, uh, think it's quite pretty. I like the look of it, um, and I different. recognize the the type of light it is too. I think that's very cool. Well, it did go. It has a stem. It's it's an original porch light mm -hmm. from like the 20s or 30s. They probably sold hundreds of them. You know, yeah. To match the old houses, but so I knocked this up out of copper and to yeah. rip it on, and then found that it was brass inside, which was pretty cool. That's very cool. You know, and it cleaned up. Yeah. Two sides. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's gorgeous. And it just sits on a stem. Mm-hmm. You know, no big deal. But this is too massive. It's I didn't want to cut it down because that's part of the original carriage right. pieces from the old carriage thing, you know. So yeah, I think it's very neat. Yeah. I'll make another one. This is ours from our house. Yeah. And it's older and kind of cooler. That's very cool. Yeah. So I'll fix that one up and make a nice thing for it. Mm -hmm. I like that. But this is what I've been doing. Well, there you go. You know, I made that an iron wreath using a uh, half inch square. Yeah. And uh, I ball peened it all and formed the legs on it. And it was all kinds of hammer. I just wore my shoulder out. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I had to take these iron pieces, you know, and taper them out to a point, and then heat them up and wrap them around things. Yeah. And so the hammering, trying to put peen marks in everything too. I don't want to do this for a while. Yeah. I gotta let my arm rest up. Let me get over 40 like I am. It's yeah, it's tough to be over 40. I, I'm, I'm, I know one day I'm gonna be there myself. Over 40. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, this was another little project. Yeah. That's to pour oil into my chainsaw. Well, there you go. Mighty sweet. And then this, this was a practice piece. And this was a patinaed wall sconce that I did. Mm -hmm. It's all in copper. Sweet. So I found a bunch of, the, the lady that's in the house now, uh, Hirschberg, I made 20 of these for her. And they were originally going to be in, in, uh, in tin, and then I talked her into doing copper because I can bend the copper and yeah. make nice bends in it. So. But this one I left the stem too high, so the light would be up here. So. I'm turning this off now. <laughs> this off, take it in the house, and it can sit on the table in the house and the lights go off. Yeah. And this lock on here is ugly. It doesn't work very good. So. That's great. So I can make one out of copper and do a nice job. 